This golden girl is Littles. You might remember her from the short video that I did of cleaning her ears, which is provided at the link below and you can watch at the end of this video. As you can see here, Littles has some mucus inside her right eye, which has been reoccurring for the last year I've done her. And also, she has a right ear that has a lot of earwax. So today, I will be showing you how I clean out her ear, her eye, and then show you the bathing process. So I am cleaning out the right ear first. And as you can see, there is a lot of gunk. As I mentioned earlier, I have been doing Littles for a year, but the owner gets her done every two to three months. I recommend dogs to be bathed or groomed once a month, especially a breed like this, so there won't be so much wax accumulation in ears as you can see in those cotton balls down there. Right ear is all cleaned out. Now we're looking to the left ear. And as you can see, the left ear is not as gunky as the right ear. That's usually the case when I do Little's ears. The right ear is way more waxy than the left ear. But then I still give both of them a good cleaning. Little's is always very good with her grooms. She never makes a fuss and she's always patient during the whole bathing process and cleaning the ears. And here's a close-up shot of the left ear, and as you can see, it is nice and clean. Now I am taking a moist eye wipe and wiping the mucus out of her eye. Pugs are prone to getting mucus around their eyes and more waxy buildup in their ears, so it's important that you clean the eyes and the ears. And as you can see here, I'm also cleaning around the folds of her face, since dirt buildup can build uh, inside those folds, so it's important that you clean those out. This is Littles in the tub. She was an extra stinky girl today. So the soap marinating time will be an extra 10 minutes. Pugs are brachycephalic dogs, meaning they have shorter snouts. And it causes snoring and loud breathing. I am now de-shedding Littles. She is not shedding as much today. So I'm just doing a quick comb out with the Egri Groomer and then I will finish her with the brush. So if you notice that breathing that she just did, that loud breathing, that is a good example of a brachycephalic condition. This is pretty much normal, but it can progress into something worse, such as a collapsed trachea. Littles always has a dry, cracked nose, so I am adding a nose balm cream to help soothe that. I will now spray her down with the Bubble Bro Scent Cologne. And then I put a white bow around her neck and this pretty girl is all set. Hey Littles! You're all done! Good girl Littles! 